And amongst the 65,000 in the outer, no less, was the great Mike Sheehan, who is always a big feature of uh, this night. Hello, Michael. Welcome. Hey, Anthony. Hello, Mark. Hello, Mickey. You love this night too, don't you? I do. I love the purity of tonight. It's old footy people and young footy people telling these stories. and That's my perfect formula for me. It's better than the Brownlow, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. By miles. You, I was saying at the top of the show, you took me as a guest when it, to the, my first Is that where the rumour started, is it? <laughs> <laughs> and I loved it. I just absolutely loved it. But it was new to you. Yeah, it, it was. Yeah. It was just terrific. More on the Hall of Fame in a moment. One thing I've always loved about you is you, you do love and respect the past, but you also do the same for the now. And if something grabs you and the emotion of footy or what you see out on the field, you acknowledge that and, and you, you love what you saw on the weekend. Yeah, I watched... I've, I've got to own up to not watching a lot of the first half because there was a life members function at the MCG, but we watched the second half. And I can't remember a more passionate crowd a louder crowd, more emotional crowd than the Collingwood people were. 69,000 people. 66,000. 66. Probably 60,000 Collingwood people. I was at the Bulldogs um, Premiership win. That's almost my favourite day in, as a reporter, watching the Bulldogs win. But that was just joy and a release of the tension over so many years. This was powerful. I just thought I was at a European soccer game. So yeah. but more than you've seen before. Well, the, la the, the, the most profound in, in terms of of emotion, yeah, and passion, yeah. So in your, in your time of covering footy, what do, you, what do you see in Collingwood that is making you think that they are a standout? They haven't won a flag yet. They haven't, no. they haven't done anything yet. But everything else that they're doing around as they build up to their tilt. Well, I hadn't seen them live until the, the Melbourne game on the King's birthday. Cracking game. And I remember 20 minutes into the first quarter, I was sitting next to Peter Murphy, who used to be on the board at mm. Collingwood. I said, Peter, I didn't think you were this good. I mean, they're clean, they're quick, mm. they're cohesive. They love to be involved, as, mm. as uh, the fly said on the weekend. They all want to be part of it. Uh, and they are an exceptionally good team. They play football better than any Collingwood side I've seen. How, how good could N. Dacos be, do you think? Oh, could be. Oh, <laughs> like, already How is. good is he? Mm. Well, I, I asked a couple of football people yesterday, if he were coming out of contract at the end of this year, what would you pay him? One started at 700. No, more. Uh, well, uh, Miles yeah. more. And someone who looked a lot like Gubby Allen said, you've got to give him a million. Yeah, now, I always think that. So he could well be on a million dollars in a year or two. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. It, it, in his second season. But I can't believe he's been able to sustain it. Early on, and you think, well, he's a Dacos boy, so he's talented, as Josh is, uh, and their genes are brilliant. But he's just sustained this until... He's probably had one quiet game, I reckon, yeah. for the year. I, I saw something on Facebook the other day. 19-year-old Peter Dacos kicked nine goals. Yeah. 19, Dad was, when he kicked yeah. nine goals. Well, I don't think anyone's underplayed that. I, I no, think no, we he's... all acknowledge the genius of Peter Dacos. But Better? Nick, Nick is so... Pro well, he's different, isn't he? Yeah, he's yeah, just he so accomplished, so cool. And his skills with, with his hands and feet are brilliant. Now, Mike, a lot to get through before the first inductee, but just, on, I mean, so many, I checked today, you're not in there yet, but a man who you know well is going in tonight has been named already, which is the great Bruce McAvan. Yes, it, Mac is in. I, I don't know, I can't work out why they named him no. uh, in advance, but they did. Um, They've done that the past couple of years. Have they? Yeah, it's like, it's like an ambassadorial role. Yeah. Anyway, look, no one would, would uh, deny Macca, would they? I mean, I think everyone thought... That's what he deserves to be there, and his contribution from the media, because he's, he's one of us, isn't he? Yep. And his contribution over the years has been profound. So, uh, like everyone else, I'm very pleased to see him going. Jared will start crying when Bruce walks up next to him tonight. Jared yeah. made a brilliant introduction before. He did. Hey, hey, Waitley's a star, isn't he? I mean, present company excluded. He, he, he's outstanding. He, um, he, he, he has a, a really good rhythm. For the night. And you know what he does? And he loves footy too. He does love footy. Yeah. He does love footy. And he gets the best out of uh, out of those who are going in, which is yeah. the most important thing. Uh, Mike, enjoy the night. I, I know you will. We don't need to, to tell you that. I'm just hoping that Jeff Rains finally gets acknowledged. What are you going to be like that for? I thought you were going to write that. <laughs> <laughs> i got cold feet. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Mike. Thanks, boys. <laughs>